Hey guys, welcome back to another RestoreMySneakers.com video. I'm your host, The Camera Guy. Now, in this episode, we're going to be doing something special, something we haven't actually done before. We're actually doing our very first Nike SB review. Now, before you freak out, the world isn't going to end. Restore My Sneakers is still going to be a channel dedicated to doing shoe restorations. Now, there are a lot of shoe review videos out there and a lot of YouTube channels that focus on this. And you might be wondering why we're doing it in the first place. Well, a couple of people have requested and asked us to actually review and look at other shoes besides Nikes and, and specifically Air Jordans. So this is kind of sort of answering that call. Uh, now, Restore My Sneakers, we kind of have our own approach to how we want to display and, and discuss a shoe. And this is going to be one of those episodes. We're going to take our own style and do a sneaker review, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So at the end of the video, let us know what you think about it, and definitely post some comments and let us know um, if you liked it or not. Now without further ado, let's get started on the shoe review. The first thing you're gonna notice about this box is the fact that there's no box top on it. The first thing you might conclude is, where did I get it? Well, I actually picked these P-Rods up, these SBs, at a Nike outlet store. Now a little bit about these Nike SBs uh, is the fact that these are the very first SBs that I actually picked up. And if you've actually read our description, I really am not a sneakerhead like my brother is. I do, however, uh, like shoes um, if they happen to go with what I wear or what I'm, what I'm going to be using for work. So I tend to look for shoes that are kind of either sometimes low profile but some that kind of stand out. Um, and these Nike P-Rods, these P-Rod 3s, uh, actually kind of was something that stood out to me when I went and saw these at the outlet. So the first thing you'll notice about these shoes is the, on the toe rand, the suede material that it's made out of. I think it's going with that midnight fog color. Also you'll notice that the, the toe box is made out of a dark gray um, leather, obviously. On the side of the shoe, you'll notice that there's also on the suede material uh, this pattern that's being uh, imprinted on here. It has the sort of diamond shaped pattern with the P-Rod logo, which is a added, nice added touch to it. The next thing you'll notice is the red or sport red swoosh. Now when I first got these shoes, they actually had these bright red or sport red laces on them initially. Now that was a little too bright for the shoes I was uh, for the style that I was going with, so I decided to put the black laces on, which actually do look a lot better. But this bright red uh, Nike Swoosh definitely makes the shoe stand out. Now on the heel tab, or the heel section of the shoe, you'll also see that same pattern of that diamond shape and the P-Rod logo on there, like you did on the suede material. And on the heel tab, you'll see this, the, the, the general Nike SB logo uh, in that bright red color. So that's a nice uh, addition as well. Now the next thing I want to talk about is on the tongue. Now on the tongue, you'll actually see the Paul Rodriguez signature, which looks pretty cool. I actually kind of like that there on the suede material here um, on the tongue. And you'll also notice that inside uh, on the tongue itself, there's this sort of mesh material, kind of honeycomb in shape. I guess sort of to add that breathability in the shoe. Now, what you'll notice about the soles is that it has a really interesting track pattern or traction pattern here, uh, which you normally don't find in other shoes. So um, again, it's a performance shoe, so that's really important so people don't slip. Um, you also notice that there's clear sole on the on the shoe. It's not clear anymore because I actually do use the shoe, but inside of it, you can see through it. It actually has a diamond pattern with the P rod emblem on it. It's a little detail. That adds, again, a nice touch to the shoe, even though you won't be looking at it for the most part. It does also have that red swoosh right here. Now, the one thing I want to point out is also the fact that it does say DRC, or Durable Rubber Compound. Um, so, again, an another uh, thing to note about these, about these shoes. The last thing I want to talk about about these shoes is actually what's inside. Now... What most people don't notice sometimes is um, the insoles of the shoe. And the insoles of the shoe come with this really 
nice kind of speckled spe speckled pattern. I don't really know what to call it, but it again it comes with that sort of bright red, sport red color that kind of matches the theme. Now, most people won't be looking inside your shoe, but it does again add that detail. And you'll also see that Nike SB kind of tab here on the heel of the insole. Um, you also uh, might want to know that this is actually an ortholite, um, an ortholite material. So again, that whole idea of adding comfort to the people who wear the shoe, uh, again, a very important step in making really good shoes. The next thing I want to talk about that most people don't notice is this thing here, Zoom Air. Um, now, this shoe, I guess, started with the P-Rod 2s, is that you can actually see the Zoom Air inside the shoe heel. Um, actually, if I flip the shoe sideways, you'll notice inside here where the insoles are at, um, you'll actually see the Zoom Air uh, encased right there, which is, again, uh, pretty cool to know. So there you have it, the P-Rod 3s with the, the Midnight Fog and red colorway, sport red colorway. Um, now, before I let you go, I just want to say one thing. For someone who works 10 hours a day and having to move their feet around a lot, Having shoes that are breathable and comfortable is very important to me. And I can definitely attest that these shoes have met that requirement. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to stay tuned for our next episode. And definitely let us know what you thought about this shoe review down in the comments below. Alright guys, see you later. something special, something new. Uh, it'll be our first review on a Nike SB. Now, before you start freaking out, again, the world, no, let's do it again. Pause it, stop it. Have shoes that will be useful. Um, bleh. <laughs> let's do